Grade 8 Math number 11.2F, we're going to talk about exterior angles and remote interior angles in this video. Alright, we know we can see exterior angles of a triangle by extending the lines of its sides. We did that in the last video. It's made by one side, see this pink one side, of the triangle and an extension of an adjacent side, a side that's next to it. Adjacent means next to. So this side's next to this side, so by extending this one, we make this right here, inside of here, that's the exterior angle, okay? An interior angle is made by two sides of a triangle. This side and this side make that interior angle. Now we have a remote interior angle. It's an interior angle, so we know it's on the inside, that is not adjacent. It's not next to the exterior angle. So here's the exterior, exterior angle 4, 3 is next to it. So that's not the remote interior angle. It's 1 and 2 because they're the ones that are not next to 4. Angle 4 is the exterior angle. Angle 3 is adjacent to it. It's next to it. So angle 1 and angle 2 are the remote interior angles to angle 4. Okay? It's a 2 angle 4. All right. So let's take a look at this. There's a special relationship between the measure of an exterior angle and the measures of its remote interior angles. They don't share a common vertex with the exterior angle. Look at that. Here's the exterior angle. 3 is sharing a common vertex with it. These two don't. We know that they're the remote interior angles. We can extend the base of our triangle and label this exterior angle as 4. And the triangle sum theorem says that the measure of angle 1, measure of angle 2, and measure of angle 3 total 180 degrees. Well, that means that we know the interior measure here, don't we? Well, angle 3 and angle 4 make a linear pair or a straight angle. We learned about that before too, didn't we? That means that the measure of angle 3 and the measure of angle 4 is going to be 180 degrees. Do you remember why? Because a straight angle is 180 degrees. That's what a straight line is, okay? So, these two angles right here are supplementary to each other. 3 and 4, because on a straight line, this one plus this one is going to be 180 degrees. All right. So we're going to use the knowledge that the measure of angle 1 and angle 2 and angle 3 equal 180 degrees, and the knowledge that the measure of angle 3 and 4 equal 180 degrees. And look what we can do. We're going to use the equation, measure of angle 1, measure of angle 2, measure of angle 3 equal 180. And that equation, measure of angle 3 and measure of angle 4, equal 180. And we're going to make a new equation. Measure of 1, measure of 2, measure of 3, equals the measure of 3 and the measure of 4. Because they both equal 180, don't they? If that one equals 180 and that one equals 180, then this one plus this one equal each other, right? Or this one and this one are equal to each other. So we use these pro the properties of equality, you know, the inverse operations, to simplify the equation. So we've got our measure 1, 2, 3 equals measure 3 and 4, and we can see on both sides of the equal sign, both sides of the equation, we have a measure of angle 3. So we can subtract that, use inverse operation and subtract that from both sides, and what will leave us, because that's a zero pair and that's a zero pair, it'll leave us with the measure of angle 1 plus 2, measure of angle 2, is equal to the measure of angle 4. Well, guess what? The exterior angle theorem says the measure of an exterior angle, measure of angle 4, is equal to the sum of its remote interior angles. And we know 1 and 2 were the remote interior angles. So angle 4 is equal to these two angles. Okay? Now, I also want to point out, this is extra, that angle 1 and angle 2 are not same side interior angles like we talked about in the previous video. I just want to clarify that because we don't have another parallel line. We don't have a parallel line here. All we have is a triangle with an extension. So these are not supplementary. They do not equal 180 degrees together, okay? These are just two interior angles of a triangle, all right? These two equal 180 because of this straight line here and that extension, okay? So I wanted to explain that. It's not intersected by a transversal, all right? So we're going to continue on. We're going to go to number 11.2G, believe it or not. We've got more videos in this unit. And I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're having a great day. I hope your homework's not too hard. I hope you understood this. I'll see you next video. Bye.